And so his word to you is you're, you're going to recover and succeed quickly and then go through the door. See, he wants you to know you can succeed. You can move your life forward, and, you're con- and you are not constantly living in pain and regret. Amen. He knows that you can. Success means I am going to have you prevail over your enemy. See, when we lose a war with the enemy, it's a reproach. Now, here's what he says about a righteous man, though. You can fall seven times if you'll just keep getting up. So you don't get bogged down just because you lose a skirmish. You get back up again. And all of a sudden, before long, you're going to become wise and strategic in your thinking. Strategic means there's a process of steps you have to go through. And then success means I already have a path planned for you. I've already got buckets of supply along that path. You're just going to have to keep walking down it to get it. Yeah. Yeah. I, if I were you for King of Kings, I'd get my offering and get ready to give into this today. I mean, Trisha just gave into it. And so... Here's what the Lord says. This is going to become your time for success. And if you will see the harvest remnant that he is ready to multiply and give you, it's amazing. And if you will see that there is not one thing on your path, that you can't find the strategy to triumph over, you'll succeed. Succeed means you're going to accomplish what God asked you to accomplish. It doesn't mean you're going to be a billionaire. It means if you need some sort of substance, some sort of glory, some sort of provision, you can have it. All you have to do is obey me. It's, it's amazing what God is saying. And so, he's saying this to us. I want you to look at all your resources. Go ahead, Aaron. I want you to look at what you have, and I want you to say, all right, Lord, optimize what I have. I want you to say that out loud. Say it out loud. Optimize what I have. That's what Elisha said to the widow. What you got? My, she said, my sons, they're about to take my kids. And my whole next generation's going into debtor's court. They're going to be sold to slavery. He said, what you got to work with? She said, well, I've got some oil in here and in a little container. He said, go to all your neighbors and get all their containers. This is what the Lord is saying to us. If we ever fall under the fear of what has been orchestrated to control our supply lines in this nation. If you ever fall under it. And you quit seeing that you have access to resources that can multiply greatly what the enemy will do is make you lose heart and that deferred hope will come on you you'll lose strength you'll lose the power to get the wealth you need now I break that spirit up here in Jesus name I break it all the way into the inner city of Newark I break it into every street of New York. I break it into Pennsylvania, downtown Philadelphia. This is coming off of us. 
I, I think when we deal with all the stuff our forefathers did, uh, I mean, they did a bunch of bad stuff, but they had an idea that we could succeed in a new land. And it was meant for us to succeed with the resource God had already put in the new land, our first people. And see, we have had lots of problems because we didn't end up making an alliance with the resource. And you, our first people had a lot of problems because they saw what man was bringing into the new land. And they said, well, let's sell what we got and get that. God's fixing to rectify all this this year. He's going to reset what needs to be reset because he will have a kingdom people who began to succeed in a new way. Look at somebody and say, that's you he's talking to. Now, Peter... That anointing is in this house. You two are going to be using this house to bring success to a whole territory this year. You've got to recognize that there is already prosperity in this year of war on the other side of the door you're going through. Here's the way you have to look at it. You can use the giants. You can use the milk. You can use the honey. You can use the prostitutes. Rahab, they couldn't even get in without her. You're going to have to optimize your resources as you go through into this season ahead. 